In this topic, we are going to talk about another component of pre-departure training, and that is provision of training for non-traditional expatriate assignments. Uh, you would remember from previous topics, we talked about what are non-traditional expatriate assignments. Uh, those non-traditional assignments include virtual assignments, they include commuters, they include international uh, travelers. So all these are non-traditional expatriate assignments and what type of training is given to them and what is the situation about that. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, in theory, all staff should be provided equal opportunity for training. Uh, uh, Pre-departure training should be provided to employees who are going on a short-term assignment, on non-standard assignments such as commun uh, commu uh, commuting or international business travelers. But this is something which, uh, is, not, uh, which, which is not happening. Uh, the data shows us that insufficient training is provided to non-traditional expatriates. Uh, however, the trends are now, now changing because of uh, technology-driven training methods. Uh, why training was not being provided to these non-traditional expatriate uh, people? Uh, it's because it is something which uh, requires a lot of uh, cost, which requires investment. And because international travelers as well as non-traditional expatriate uh, assignees, they do different type of jobs. Uh, they are, there is a lot of diversity in uh, the type of jobs that they perform. For example, if a person is going on short-term assignment, he may, be, he may be moving around in 10 different countries. Now, giving training to that person regarding 10 different uh, countries is something which is very much costly and it requires a lot of investment. Uh, but now, because of technology-driven training methods, it is possible to give training about diverse type of topics, um, diverse type of uh, areas, and in diverse type of ways. So people can be trained just by sitting on uh, on a uh, uh, on a computer or using their smartphones. They can access videos on YouTube. They can access material on uh, learning management systems. They can read through it, they can interact with people, they can chat with the instructors. There are so many different ways which are technology driven. Uh, and that is why uh, a training which used to be very much costly uh, and that was curtailed is now being given uh, because of the technology driven methods. Uh, so a Brookfield uh, survey, we have talked about Brookfield Global Survey many times. It uh, reports that 32% of the companies, they used media-based or web-based uh, alternatives for training of uh, these non-traditional um, expatriate assignees. And the data shows us that 28% they used media or web-based programs at, as additional forms of support for in-person programs. So additional forms, in-person programs were also there but additional support was also provided. Uh, then 28% used it for portability. Anywhere, anytime you can give the training. So portable methods, you can open it on your smartphone, you can open it on your laptop, and 28% used it for this particular purpose. 17% uh, used it as a standalone alternative. Kisi of web-based training is there. 17% companies and they were only giving web-based training and no other alternative. 9% uh, of them, they said that they are giving it for time efficiency and 6% of them said that they are giving it for cost reason. So this is about the uh, pre-departure training which uses web-based programs or uh, media-based programs. It is very important for international business travelers uh, to be given some kind of training and these web-based programs can be utilized for these international business travelers. Because why? Because they form the largest proportion of international business human resource. So international business travelers are the international business ke andar participate in the or They play a vital role in introducing and marketing new product and market information. So the international business travelers are different countries, mein jate hai, market ko explore, karte hai, apne products introduce, karwate hai, 
वहाँ के रिसोर्स के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन लेते हैं सो इन लोगों की ट्रेनिंग करना जो है वो एक बहुत ज़रूरी और बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट अमल है दे आर ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द होस्ट कंट्री नेशनल फॉर सेवरल टाइप ऑफ टास्क बिकॉज ये जो इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस ट्रेवलर्स होते हैं ये मुख्तलिफ जगह पर ट्रबल शूटिंग के लिए भी जाते हैं शॉर्ट टर्म असाइनमेंट्स के लिए भी जाते हैं कहीं पर अगर स्किल गैप आ गया है तो वहाँ पर उसको फिलअप करने के लिए भी जाते हैं तो ये लोग जो हैं ये ये दे दे आर वेरी मच वाइटल सोर्स फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट देर इज अर इज अ स्कैंट अमाउंट ऑफ लिटरेचर विच इज़ अवेलेबल रिगार्डिंग हाउ दीज इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस ट्रेवलर्स दे गेट ट्रेन वट लिटरेचर टेल्स अस इज दैट दे यूजली गेट ट्रेन ऑन द जॉब एंड ग्रेजुअली दे अंडरस्टैंड द कल्चरल डायनामिक्स सो Uh, because it is difficult to give training regarding various different type of uh, countries and diverse cultures they actually get trained on the job but we are also seeing that web based and media based training methods they are now becoming a part of the training methods and people who are uh, on these mobile kind of assignments they can uh, take use of and they can utilize those methods um, and uh, they are able to learn and train themselves through those particular methods so this is about the non traditional expatriate assignees and how they are trained 